Hi guys and girls, thanks for tuning in to Design Motion today. Um, it is an exciting day today, Autodesk have just launched Inventor 2016. Um, previous video I introduced the Multicad workflows which are new for this year. And in this video here I'm going to put them to good use by um, importing a SOLIDWORKS file and applying some toolpaths um, within the camera environment of Inventor HSM. So we'll get started by opening up that SOLIDWORKS file and we're immediately presented with the import dialog here. Now traditionally this would have just been a dumb import and that's what this convert model is, uh, this option is here. Now if we select the reference model then it's going to create an associative import just to essentially open up the file. There are some controls that are available for um, which components or which bodies are imported and in this case here I'm actually going to turn off the stock body that was modeled in SOLIDWORKS because I just want the component um, and I'm going to define the stock within the job dialog in the cam environment. First of all I'm going to select, I need to select the origin so I'm going to define this as the Z um, plane and the Y axis and to do that I'm going to select this face here because it's quite likely this face isn't ever going to um, be deleted so we want to maintain that reference and my stock the origin point itself I'm going to use the stock point and select this one, this point here in the middle and then I need to define the size of my stock so I'm going to make it relative to the um, component and add one mil to the side and then one mil to the top so I'm happy with that and um, now it's time to start applying some toolpaths so first of all I'm going to apply my roughing strategy um, using 3D adaptive clearing and I'm going to use a 5 mil end mil to do this job and the adaptive clearing is pretty straightforward you, you can pretty much accept all of the default um, options in here. In the passes tab I'm going to um, check that I've got enough stock being left and I'm happy with that and my passes I can just increase the stay down to keep the tool down in the pockets for longer. Anyway, I'm happy with everything else. Now while that's generating I can start um, setting up the 2D pocket. I'm going to keep the same tool. I'm going to select the bottom of the two pockets I want to machine. I'm happy with the heights and I just want to make sure that I remove stock to leave because I want this to be a finished pocket and I also need to change the ramp type to plunge from helix just to reduce the amount of air cuts the tool's doing. You can see that those two have been generated already. Um, we could be a little bit fancy here and um, go back into the passes tab and turn on the morphed spiral machining. Again while that's generating I can come in here and define a 2D contour and just to cut the part out. I'll select that edge there which is actually slightly higher than the bottom because of the chamfer. So I need to make sure that I select the bottom plane to make sure the tool goes all the way down to the bottom of the part. And I'm happy with all of the other settings as default. With that I've now got all of the um, tool paths applied that I need. And I'm going to save that file off and switch over into SOLIDWORKS um, to make the change. I just want to make it a pretty simple change. I'm just going to increase or decrease the size of this. Um, from three inches to two and a half. We'll commit that change and save the file off. Simple as that. If we come back into Inventor now, we can see that there's an update pending. So if we select the update button, right click the setup and select generate toolpaths, all of the toolpaths will get regenerated. Once this is finished, um, we can go ahead and run a simulation just to show the tool cutting some material. Okay, hit play. There we go. All right, so I hope that was useful. I think this is a pretty big deal for um, certainly for programmers uh, for CNC machines. Often they'll be receiving um, third-party data from multiple different sources and CAD pro um, applications. And so with Inventor HSM now, they get the ability to um, import associatively um, SolidWorks data, uh, Proe, PTC Creo, um, Katia and NX files. Well thanks for watching and hope you have a good day. Cheers, bye.